What's going on, YouTube fine? This your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another video, man. And in this video, I want to ask y'all which show y'all thought was better, The Corner or The Wire. They both based out of Baltimore, Maryland, West Baltimore. The Wire basically took place in a place called Murphy Homes for all y'all that ain't from Baltimore. It's a housing project in West Baltimore. In The Wire, you had two organizations kind of beefing with each other. They showed you the leaders who was coming up. You know, they showed them hustling, making money. They showed the stick-up boys. They basically showed everything that come with the game. And the end story was they got a wiretap put on them, both organizations, and they brought down both organizations, you feel me? Now, in the corner, it's a little more personal. It's about a dude named DeAndre McCullough, his mom, Fran, his dad, Gary McCullough, and they struggled growing up in the hood. And them trying to raise him while dealing with addiction. Him trying to make his way because both of his parents addicted, you feel me? And it really got to the nitty gritty. It's based out of West Baltimore too. And both shows were very good, you feel me? The characters did very good. The only thing about The Wire, they had a lot of people that wasn't from Baltimore, you feel me? So they did good picking up on the accent. They did good picking up on the swag. You know what I mean? It's definitely a brilliant show. I ain't taking nothing from the wire. The corner was just a little more personal. Like, you can relate because that's a real person. DeAndre McCullough, I think, if I ain't mistaken, I think bro died. Like, I think he died. But he was a real dude, you know what I mean? And it was based on his life. And he told the story. And um, it was definitely dope, you feel me? Like, I own both of these DVDs, you feel me? I still watch them up to this day. It's very educational for anybody that never been to Baltimore so you can understand the streets of Baltimore and understand how it worked and how growing up in that community affects people. At one point in time, we was like the Heron capital of the United States. We got a place called the Baltimore and the Harbor, and a lot of stuff was coming in through the harbor. You feel me? Now, in my opinion, like I say, both of the shows dope. You know what I mean? You got Marlo. You know, you got Stringer Bell, you got all the characters, Bodie and The Wire, that just kind of pulled you in, and you kind of can relate to their individual stories. You know, it's one of them shows you got to definitely pay attention to to know what's going on and move a lot fast. That's DeAndre right there from the corner. That's the real DeAndre. You know what I mean? And um, The Wire was basically wrote by an uh, ex-Baltimore City police. He basically wrote about his time on the force. And what he had to go through to catch, I guess, so-called bad guys, if he calling it like that. And, you know, the wiretaps and how they brought down the organization. But the corner, man, it, it go to show you, it take a first-hand look into addiction, you know, hustling. You feel me? The nitty-gritty of the Baltimore streets, what people got to do every day to survive. It show you how people go in people's houses and rip all the plumbing out. You feel me? So they can go sell it and get what they need, get they fix. It show you people being ill, being drug sick without having their drugs and stuff like that. You know, and them things that I went through growing up, you feel me? Dealing with a family that had addiction in it. I seen these things firsthand. So I can relate personally to both of them, of course. But the corner more of my favorite because even though it wasn't as big as The Wire and it wasn't like nationwide a lot of people probably don't know about the corner it was a lot more live and direct it was in your face it showed the baltimore dc dudes beefing it showed people trying to take blocks even deandre struggled with addiction he ended up he was getting money then he ended up one night trying to product and you know he couldn't get his life back together you feel me it showed how money can come in between brothers and homeboys and make them start beefing with each other you know the wire show a depiction of people that had big money, the dudes that was getting the real money in the city, you know what I mean? And they was to a level where as though the feds felt like they had to come get them, you feel me? Baltimore City Police. Y'all remember Omar, he was the stick-up boy in the wire, you feel me? But I just thought this would be dope to bring to y'all attention, definitely for my people from Baltimore, all the fans from Baltimore. Y'all already know about these shows. But the people that ain't from Baltimore, y'all go check these shows out, for real, like, you will get a good depiction of the city, you feel me? You will definitely understand 
the everyday struggle of people growing up in that city, especially with the corner. So I'm going to have to go with the corner on this one as far as my favorite. I love both of these shows. It was hard for me to pick. But when I was thinking of this video I did, I'm like, dang, I don't know which show I really like because they both had scenes and parts and people that I can relate to and stuff that I really seen growing up and stuff that really go on in the city still to this day, you know. Baltimore, a beautiful city, but it definitely get gritty. Like, the underworld is a place up there you don't really want to be in because you can get eight alive, especially if you don't know them streets, if you don't know nobody, if you don't know how to move in that city. Just like a lot of other inner cities, it'll chew you up and spit you out. So, um, I just feel like the corner man, like, it's so deep because you see his father, he was like the big man, you feel me? He did it legit. Like, his father owned properties, and he went to work, and he was taking care of the whole neighborhood. But then he started getting high, and he lost everything, you feel me? Like, he lost literally everything. So, DeAndre ended up basically raising himself and being in the streets and trying to survive. His mom getting high. He trying to, you know, get money to feed his little brother, to get his little brother Christmas stuff, things like that. So it's real deep, and it's real because I didn't think that a hundred times, you feel me? It was this dude I knew. He was a millionaire, you feel me? But he lost everything because them streets don't love nobody. Addiction don't love nobody. It don't got no color, no race. It go at whoever, you feel me? And it's definitely a problem. It's been an epidemic in Baltimore, but now it's a national epidemic, you know, with the pills, with the fentanyl, you know, the heroin, you know what I mean? It's killing people out here, man. So y'all check them out. Y'all let me know what's y'all favorite. Leave your comments below. If you're new to the fan, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell for uploads. Man, we still in that race to 10K. I appreciate the love and support, man. If you want to support the growth of the channel, you want to donate, everything is appreciated. The Cash App is Tony2TV, or you can simply hit that like button, man, and subscribe. Love, fam.